Let's take a look at how you can manually assign part numbers using the CabinetSense interactive tool. Clicking on the interactive tool, CabinetSense will examine your model and determine how many different prefixes are being used in it. I'll select prefix number one. CabinetSense goes and highlights all of the components that are used in that particular prefix. So you can visually see if you have everything uh, assigned to that particular prefix. If I click on it again, but this time I'll select prefix two, you can see the parts that are assigned to prefix two. There's also a shortcut. While you're in, while you're using the interactive tool, you can hover over any component and if you look down in the bottom right hand corner, it'll tell you what the current part number is and what the next assignable part number is should you click on the, on the cabinet. If I hold down or just click on the control key, I then select the prefix that is being used for the uh, highlighted cabinet. And down at the bottom right hand corner, the next number is also set to be that, number, to be that uh, same part number. And I'll show to you uh, why that's important. So let's go back. I'm going to change this to 3.1. Now if I go back to my interactive tool, I have three prefixes. If I select three, the only one that I've assigned is that particular cabinet. My next assigned number is 302, so let's go ahead and just click Next one will be 303, 304, 305, 306. So it's easy to see what's been assigned to that particular prefix. Let's say that we then realize that we want this cabinet. It should have been included in the series as well, and I would rather have had it being immediately numbered after this guy. So this is 303, I want this to be 304. This one's currently 304. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my control key I've reset my next number back to 304. I'm going to click on this one. And all the higher numbers have been rolled up by one. So this used to be 304, it's now 305. So the series is 303, 304, 305, etc. Um, you can also use your escape key to unhighlight all of the cabinets or components. Okay, by default, Cabinet Sense or the tool only selects Cabinet Sense aware components. So these crown moldings uh, are not Cabinet Sense components, but let's say I wanted to assign part numbers to it as well. I can override the default set by holding down my tab key. And now I can select anything in the model. And I can click on it. and I've now assigned. Okay, let's show uh, one more feature. I'm going to introduce another cabinet into the model. Um, now let's say we want to go back and we want to do our assignments again. Clicking on the interactive tool this time, CabinetSense has looked at the model and determine that there is an unassigned component. And so even though I've selected uh, part one or prefix one, instead of select highlighting all of the cabinets under that prefix, it's only showing you the cabinet that needs to be assigned. So if you said, oh, really, I want that to be in the same series as, let's say, these cabinets. I can hit my control key. I've hit my shift key, go to the highest number, click, and now it's been unhighlighted. So if you had several cabinets, you could tell which one still remained to be assigned. And now if I go back and select prefix one again, now I get what I was expecting because all of the components that needed to be assigned a number have been assigned a number. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.